closest fans, your dearest fans, Rat King, wanted to bring you here today to try to make up. Great. I'm going to give it a, a little taste here. It definitely could have a little more acid, so I'm going to go ahead and, and add a little more acid. To so shout out to the DJ with my song. He from Philly, he ain't worried about the mother John. I mean, I ain't trying to rash, I don't mean no harm. I'm just trying to catch a vibe and put my city young. My name is Crystal Chandler, and I'm the director and producer of The Dear Little Project. Yes, black girl. Yes, black girl. Yes, black girl. Here's the point I'm trying to make. It's your sway. And your charisma. Your brain. And intelligent wisdom. That compels a fine organism. Such as yourself. To represent strength, love, beauty. And a symbol of royalty you are truly. Dear little black boy, you are divine. You are emulated, you are needed, you are appreciated, you are resilient, and you are unbreakable. Dear little black boy, stay focused on your goals, stay strong, don't worry about what the world says, live your truth. BFR, bostonfreeradio.com. Hello and welcome to Words on Film, the spoken word show dedicated to moving pictures. I'm your host and movie critic, Dan Burke. You want to create your own radio show? You can do it in the radio booth. And you can have great bands like this on your show. We do a lot of this fun stuff every Thursday from 5 to 7. Uh, myself, I'm Chris Haskell, and I have my co-hosts, Kali and Nick, with me every 5 to 7. We have local bands come on. We talk to them about local issues. this one way or the other so we might as well use use their funds to pay for this to get people healthy instead of keeping continuing to incarcerate them and treat them in the emergency room we should put our money into up front helping people and get their get their lives back together absolutely into a sense of travel when we encounter people in our travels and she encounters this woman who looks very uncomfortable and Marion is wondering if it connects to her corset I think it's sort of that moment of sort of when you know we encounter people that in travels are strangers but we also try to connect with them through um, what they might be going through. But in the last 20 years we've lost a hundred rest homes. We're down to 53. The ones that go under are the nonprofits and the ones that serve the poor that are paid for by state dollars. Somerville Home could have survived if it could have become a fancy uh, place that could sure. get private people to come but they couldn't get the loans because the banks looked at their income and they saw that the rates they were being paid were unsustainable, so they wouldn't give them loans, they couldn't upgrade. We have to step up. Witness protection has to be quality. We have to really, really meet the needs of these citizens to ensure that um, they're willing and able to speak up and then protect them, um, that they can uh, help these families to get these murder solved. Oh my God, so I am now the president? You're the president and you're negotiating with Russia. Oh my God. And you want to tell Putin oh that you understand him by singing a song to Putin of friendship in Russian. Ha, 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 ha. I did not expect the show to go this way. <laughs> uh, my colleagues think that I am wasting my time. And uh, it was Oppenheimer. Perhaps you have heard of Robert Oppenheimer. He was uh, the one in charge of the Manhattan Project. Small, small, bigger. Keep breathing. Don't be moving, please, we're leave. No, don't, do we go? Louie and I'm doing this. Oh 
boy. This is bizarre, I have to admit. We want to talk about stem cell treatment. Hospitals are now forming clinical trials for gene therapy. And the party is tonight, but unfortunately, it's so private that they don't give me the information until 15 <laughs> minutes prior to the guest showing up. Wow. Jeez. Yeah. Hardly any shows here yeah. that allow people to call in. You That's can, right. You know, exercise Everybody's your, scared because of people like yeah. that that yelled at us, right? You can exercise your verbal uh, yeah. whatever, yeah. yeah. I am me. I am you. You are me. As to the trees, to the plants, to the animals, to the landscapes, to the skies, and we're here now. And in this moment now, we're safe. In this moment now, we're alive. In this moment now, everything is absolutely all right. Hey, everybody, welcome to DIY the show. My name is Andrew Lowry. Hey. I remember loving you. Oh, oh, oh. It's time you leave me, girl. The coin star. We bring it to the coin star, <laughs> and then we go to the movies. <laughs> Less ten percent. <laughs> I don't mean to be an elitist, but I think you mean bank. No, we meant coin. Sous la terre qui passe celle des esprits, gain les fonds d'accord. Accordion pas codium ni même accordé. Welcome back, welcome back. You're watching Tele Magazine. Nous voulons remercier tout le monde qui branche avec nous après midi. On va One of the questions that people ask are like, is it fiction? I'm like, no, it's not fiction. It's nonfiction. We interview people like journalists and we talk to people, we do the research to find out if there's a backstory to the haunting. And Darcy actually talked a lot about the backstory. I don't know. We got to see a lot of cool things and take really cool photos. Yeah, and I think it's it's easier than you think it is because it looks really hard to take a photo. I kind of think though, and I kind of disagree, because it kind of seems hard because there's a lot of work to go into it. Not so much as taking the photo, but to perfect the photo. Just like growing up, all the things I was really attracted to is art. Like a lot of people look at art and they see like a painting on a wall, but what I was looking at was like record covers and skateboard graphics and stuff like that. So. The way I want to see my art is to see it in the public space. The list is really a continuation of many projects that Juanma and I have been working together on for many years now. He is a filmmaker, I'm an architect, and the idea of working collaboratively has been at the heart of our relationship. Original community, we come together here in Assembly Row, people from all neighborhoods in this particular neighborhood tonight to celebrate one summer of There you go. That's perfect. Now, clap your hands one time. All right, let's see how you did. Just one time. Oh! I mean, you know, I can't really give sort of tax or legal advice. I think the one thing I heard when I was at this hearing at the State House the other day is this is all brand new, and, and tax law is so individualized. And so, mm. so while what's happening at the federal level is important to pay attention to, what deductions went away, what exemptions went away, the state has its own tax code. I'm, I'm not going to say this one's the biggest, but it is relevant to some of it. Okay. Uh, it was called um, Living on Scraps by Cole Rosengren. And um, it was talking, he, this is a 10,000 word piece, basically, a big piece. And he's talking about um, the, the history of uh, how recycling is done, right, in, in the region mm -hmm. and how it relates to the workers that do it and the wages they get paid. So you mentioned that it was a, that it started off as a protest ride yep. um, and, and it has those origins. Mm -hmm. Is it still a protest ride? 
Yeah. So, um, and it's actually evolved in a few different ways, kind of, um, for other social reasons besides biking. Um, when I first started the ride, it was really about bike safety on the streets. Um, and so the vulnerability of being naked and being really visible to people kind of like shocks people when they see you riding by naked that like, wow, this is how vulnerable we are on the streets. Going to Somerville High. I loved Somerville High. Somerville High to me was like the greatest thing. It was super diverse. We had over 52 languages spoken within a student body of like 1,200. Um, we would always have like different like multicultural fairs and our proms. It would be Spanish music and Brazilian music and Haitian music and everybody would be dancing like no matter if you're white, black, Hispanic, Brazilian, um, if you were Asian, whatever. Everyone kind of just meshed together. Can you introduce yourself for me? Hi, thank you. I'm Mary Jo Rossetti. I'm one of the aldermen at large here in Somerville. Awesome. So what brings you out here today? What wouldn't bring me out here today? It is unbelievably awesome. Um, Joe jo Lynch. Joe Lynch jo brought me here. Joe Lynch. Number yes. one reason. Great yes. weather. Of course, Joe. Free yeah. food. <laughs> free food. I didn't find any free food. Free ice cream right here. Oh, Big gay ice cream. Okay. It's that's free. Where, that's where I'm going next. That that it's okay to help a squirrel I'm collect okay. nuts. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> I'm so glad I know that. <laughs> okay. It's okay to have different type of friends. And it's okay to make a wish. Sorry. How about how about everyone? I'm gonna close close your eyes right now and make a wish just to yourself. I wish I weren't. I wish I had one. I wish I had. I wish I had ice cream. I wish I had a Lego set and I wish I had. Let's all say this together. Yes. I wish I had. It's okay to be different. You are special and important just because of being who you are. Thank you so much. So my name is Robson, I'm from Brazil, and I start to have this, this cooking experience with Nibble Kitchen like three or four years ago, right? Sure, yeah. And I fell in love with cooking and doing all this stuff, so I'm very happy to be here to present for you the Brazilian snacks. Okay, so what are Brazilian snacks? What yeah, are we going to make today? We're going to do something quick. Okay. So first, is the pão de queijo, which means cheese, cheese bread. bread. I'm yeah. sure you guys know pão de queijo or cheese bread. It is like the most delicious thing. Now we're going to check out the excellence that is the Somerville Youth Program. get back out there and do that again. That's something that I've always wanted to do and keep on doing on the district. And it also kind of just brought me back to like reconnecting with people who I haven't seen in a long time. And like rebuilding on those relationships that we had. And kind of just having fun with the people I grew up with. It meant everything. Well, we're, we're working in advocating along with other providers, uh, partner cities around the country, uh, you know, as we did on the Sanctuary City, and also providing referring uh, those who may be impacted to services. Uh, but I want those who are under TPS or, or DACA to know that you know we're going to fight for them. We will not abandon them. Uh, 
they're our neighbors, they're our friends, they're our family, they're, our kids go to school together. This is their country as much as it is mine and their community. They will not be forsaken. And we will put up every level of advocacy or legal battle we need to to fight for them to stay. And my name is Stephanie Cuevas. I'm currently a doctoral um, student I'm about to graduate from the Harvard Graduate School of Education with my PhD in education. Clear questions of like access to resources for undocumented um, students brought me to graduate school. Like DACA significantly changed the life of not only undocumented young people but their family. I love to eat, and right now I'm in Somerville, a city filled to the brim with different people, cultures, and of course, food. So, let's check out all the local restaurants. My name is Jose, I'm originally from Guatemala and I own Evi Sushi. Um, Evi Sushi has been open for seven years. We opened in 2011. I used to work in this Japanese restaurant in, in Cambridge and I learned how to make sushi and then later I decided to open my own business. Like, I've been really happy with uh, all the clients that we have, the diverse of friendly people and the city. Miss Kim, I was skeptical about this interview. But a colleague of mine highly recommended you. I'm really excited to be working at this company. A big mark of adulthood is getting a normal job. Well, you haven't been hired yet. So what's your understanding about this job's purpose? Creating whole grain, cruelty-free yoga mats. And you're a vegan, right? <laughs> of course I'm a vegan. Who do you think I am? Some filthy blood mouth? What does that mean? Oh, nothing, nothing. Uh, do you have any more questions? Welcome to FNN, the fake news network, if you're wondering what it stands for. It's right on the screen. Up next, let's make some money. Welcome back to Let's Make Some Money. Now, today, for our first contestant, Jazz fans, we have... Hi, I'm Murphy. I'm a potato farmer from Ohio. See, he's pretty normal. We're all happy to have him. Hit the track, buddy. Cut it, buddy. Just cut it. Stop it. Now, today, we are going to be having some very special guests on our show today. There's some dancing sisters from Los Angeles. Let's take a look at their video. Action. Is it on yet? Oh. I think so. Hi, Jimmy. Hi, Bellin. It's Timmy and Helen. Sheesh. We're so excited to send you our video. Yeah. We had a really tough life. We had to move out of our mansion into a smaller one. Yeah. And we had to fire our fourth butler yesterday. It's been tough. Right now, we will be interviewing former champ and defending champ, Bunny Boy. Bunny Boy, how do you feel coming into this tournament? I feel like I'm going to win because I cheat all the time. And I don't know what Greenhead is saying that it, like it's going to be hard because it's actually super duper easy. Cheating. Um, totally legal on shows like this. Um, thank you. <laughs>